everyone welcome to excel problem solving series so into this particular video i'll be solving a problem onto the graphs or the data visualization into the excel now this particular problem was asked to me for one of the interviews screening rounds for one of the mncs and i found this particular problem quite interesting because this particular concept it covers a lot of different things and metrics so let's see what is the problem it is all about as you can see the problem is very much small and we'll be seeing two different problems onto the same concept so let us see what is the problem it is saying so it says that using the data draw a combo chart with two y-axis and the data is also quite small into the first column i have the quarter name into the second column i have the sales amount into the third column i have the quality which is present into each of the quarter and using this particular data i want to create a combo chart which should contain two y axis so for each of the y axis i'll be displaying a sales amount and quality into all those quarters now it is very much clear that the quarter it should be present or it will be present into the x axis and the sales and the quality it will be present into the two y axis you might think how is it possible that into a graph two y axis is present but friends this is a function which is present into the excel and we'll be seeing how to implement this so for this i would just first of all select and the entire array or the data on which i need to create the table then i would go to this line chart and you can see the chart has been created the blue is for the sales amount the orange is for the quality quarter is present into the x-axis this is pretty much clear similarly the sales amount it is present into the y-axis now where can i get the secondary y-axis or the second y-axis so friends if you can just see this particular area it is vacant use this area to make the secondary y-axis let us see how to do this and also you can see the blue line it is showing me the correct data for this particular y-axis so we'll be using this area and we'll be creating y-axis to depict the quality so i would just select this particular quality line i would do a right click format data series so you can see here i'm getting an option of secondary axis i would click on that and the instant on which you are clicking the graph would change and you will be getting a secondary axis as like this so you can see for each quarter i am getting the sales amount and also the quality which is present into all those quarters and using this particular graph you can see i am getting a secondary y axis also so friends this was a simple level problem but you can just see how is the usability of this particular combo chart so into just a single chart you can study two different values so one value could be the sales other value could be the quality amount or the quality percentage so friends let us see a second problem onto the same concept now i have made a detailed video onto this particular concept which is onto the pareto analysis now if i would have to explain the pareto analysis into much shorter way so 80 percent of the consequences it is caused by the 20 percent of the causes this would look like a complex sentence but this is very much simple let's say there is a company a customer care company and complaints are coming from different customers so the pareto analysis it simply means that 80 percent of the complaints which are coming on a daily basis or on a yearly basis they are coming from just the 20 percent of the customers so this is a simple pareto analysis example which i provided here now i've solved this particular pareto analysis problem into lot of detail into one of my excel problem solving videos so you can check out that video also or you can just click onto the link which is popping out right now the problem which we were tackling onto that particular video so you can see there was an industry and there was production shortages for many products so we just needed to calculate what are the 20% of the products which are causing 80% of the production shortages so into the column a i had the different product ids or the row labels you can see for the different products into the column b i have the production shortages because of all these different kind of products 
into the column c i have the cumulative sum so you can just disregard this particular column but into the column d this is the pareto analysis concept so you can see the instance i am getting the 80 percent value and it simply means that all those product ids they are responsible for causing 20 percent of the production shortages so we'll be taking into account this particular data and we'll be preparing a report so that it can simply display with just a single glance what are all those product ids which are causing the 20 percent of the production shortages well let us create the chart so i would just select the relevant columns so I would select the percentage column, the production shortages column and the row label column. I would go to this insert. I'll select any of the chart from here. So you can see a chart has been created. So two of the things are present here also. Some of production shortages and the percentage value. But we cannot see only what where is the percentage value. So we can just see up some blue lines here which is for the sum of production shortages. There is no percentage value which we can see here and from the same concept also here you can see i have the some of the production shortages so here i can just display the percentage value but for that i should have a value so that i can edit on to that i can apply a trick here so i can just simply increase one of the production value or the percentage value to a high amount so you can see i'm getting the orange line this time and i can just edit on to this so i would go to format data point and i would click on to the secondary axis so you can see a secondary axis has been created now let us get back the value so you can see our secondary axis has been created for the percentage value but friends all the blue lines they have been for the production shortages they are being overlapped by the percentage value so let us change the chart type now so that we are able to see uh, the blue lines for the production shortages so for this i would select again onto the orange lines or the percentage value lines i would change the chart type so i would click change series chart type so for the orange one i would just simply select a simple chart i click onto this line chart and i'll click ok so you can see i'm getting the blue lines as well as the orange line and it is clearly depicting me that this particular 80 percent value you can see so 80 percent of the things wherever it intersects with this particular line so i can simply say that all these values which are present here they are causing my 80 percent of the production shortages so from a simple graph you can see how e it is easy to show what are my production shortages which are the products which are causing the production shortages change the scale of the percentage value so for that i would just click on to this particular line i would go to format axis here you can see i have the minimum zero and maximum 1.2 because of 1.2 i am getting 120 percentage value so change from 1.2 to 1.0 and i'll close this so you can see our chart is more better now because the higher percentage value i am getting is 100 and that should be present and the 80 percentage value you can just see you can just see where the graph is intersecting and all those values you can just simply indicate that those are causing the 80 percent of the production shortages also you can change the scale of the axis once more so i would just again go to format axis so instead of let's say 10 skipping counts i can just mention here uh 20 skipping counts so you can see i'm getting now much more better so 0 20 40 60 and 80 and 100 i'm getting so this is how i can solve the pareto analysis problem using the graphs using the secondary access concept so friends i hope you had found this video quite informational and useful do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you have to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis see you in the next video thank you so much bye